Kai, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and starting of video log, my vlog. Um, so today is Friday, 15th of March, 8pm, and only just a few days ago put out there saying I was considering doing a vlog. So this is the very start of it and the introduction. Um, but yeah, I got some really good feedback from people saying you know they'd love the idea of it so um, and I'm not going to compare myself to other youtubers because uh, I won't actually sit in front of a camera um, so what you're seeing me is just drilling because um, I thought that's just the best way to do it at the moment so my logs will be going up that way so what have I been doing in the way of for the channel so as mentioned before, baked a cheesecake and filmed it. However, <laughs> I'm trying to do the voiceover and oh my gosh, the voiceover is um, <laughs> not doing too well. I'm trying to record it and it is actually, the video is freezing as I'm recording it because I actually filmed it, I recorded it on my tablet. Um, this uh, there must be some little mismatch of data and it's not going through the program that I'm using so for anyone that is wanting to know what program I use for my editing I use Cyberlink Director I think it's called Power Director yeah so I'm having lots of fun trying to work my way through that and get that going so that's another one that's the baked cheesecake once I manage to get that sorted out I shouldn't have too much issues however I've had this issue with another diamond painting that I've been working on recently uh, that I unboxed months ago then I did a setup with me and that um, I did upload it and then discovered that that didn't work properly so I've just got to work out my settings to get that correct. So that's where we're at so far. Okay, so today is the 18th of March, Monday. And I stopped recording the video log uh, on the 15th uh, with a lovely sound from a partner. He is He was sitting three rooms away when that sound came through and it was a belch. Um, that is the reason why my recordings are <laughs> I don't like to record when, when uh, he is at home because I never know what noises are going to come from the front room where he sits in his man cave so today I will be doing the voiceover for the baking of the baked cheesecake recipe Duke baked cheesecake which uh, went down really well at work it was really yummy uh, even saved a piece for my partner so I brought home a piece for him because he's never happy when I bake and he doesn't get any okay so that's that side of it I've read through comments I was going to read through some comments and um, address some of the comments that have come through uh, just basically everybody is um, very supportive which is fantastic. I've got people going, yeah, they'd love a vlog, so, a vlog, so that's why I've uh, decided to do it. Um, uh, so yeah, that's the agenda for today uh, is to do the voiceover for the baking and get that uploaded so that then it is done. Hopefully I will be successful. I think I've figured it out. Figured out the settings. Um, so let's see, it might be a little bit jittery still, but it's better than uh, the uh, the original recording. Um, what have I done? So being Monday on the weekend, Nathan was home. I did go out on Saturday. So when I say go out, um, I'm, I, apart from going to work, I... I'm a hermit type person. Um, I, I think I'm getting worse. Uh, 
um, which you know isn't isn't good. But when I go out, like even to do the grocery shopping, I know in the morning that I'm going to go shopping that day, and I keep finding other things to do, and end up not hitting the shops till three o'clock, three four o'clock in the afternoon. But yeah, I keep going. Oh well, I'll get this done before I shop. I'll get this done before I go to the shops. Get this done. Um, and those things that I get done are actually not big things they're little things and I find a lot of little things and procrastinate in between uh, so yeah I went out on Saturday to Spotlight which is like I think it's equivalent to you guys with your Michaels in, in America I think don't quote me on that one but just going by what they sell and what you guys say that with it, Michael sell. They had a Liquitex Up workshop. And uh, where is it? Sorry. Which showed working with, it was not what I thought it was, but they were showing, so Liquitex, Liquitex acrylics, thick, creamy, retaining crisp brush stakes. Um, acrylic mediums this is what I went looking at for the mediums uh, because I looked at because the resin art what I need to do is get some acrylic tinted paints to go into the resin to um, obviously make the resin have color because the resin is clear but it was not what I was expecting uh, so it was an interesting process um, but yeah when I got there and I was talking to the woman doing the demonstration uh, I got an idea that it was not what I was thinking it was however the company Liquitex do have a pouring medium to, for liquid pours but uh, that works out pricier than the art resin so an art resin is not exactly cheap to work with either so uh, I think I'll probably use there goes the ice machine again I'll probably use the the tints because I've got some pretty cool tints there but um, yeah I mean it was a good good outing I suppose there wasn't too many people at that at that event I think there's about four people so it was really good it's small which I, I really like I think if there had it been six or more I probably would have gone oh, no I'm not staying for this because it wasn't quite what I was after okay so I'll leave that there and I'll talk to you in my next vlog thank you bye okay so it is the 21st of March Thursday sorry for the jiggling of the camera we are in Sydney. My partner lost his sister. Bring that up for you. Lost his sister two days ago. So we've had to do a um, trip across to Sydney. Um, so we found out 1.30. On Tuesday afternoon, we're on a flight. Well, we were booked on a flight. <laughs> yeah, the dilemma, the drama, dilemma of getting here. Booked on a flight to depart at quarter to six. Um, we got picked up by a friend's mate to take us to the airport. Got stuck due to roadworks, and we didn't miss the flight. We only missed the check-in time for baggage. So because you can't fly without your suitcase or your suitcase can't fly without you, you uh, we had to have that booking cancelled and rebook on the next available flight. So we departed two hours later than planned and um, sorry, <laughs> straighten that camera up for you. And then Uh, $200 uh, lighter in the pockets or in the credit card anyway should say heavier in the credit card because we took money from it <laughs> um, so yeah Nathan's 
sister has been, um, she's had five open heart surgeries, um, just been put on dialysis and yeah, they lost her. So we've now got the process of all the uh, arrangements that need to be made and everything else. So I've got five days compassionate leave. So I'm not due back at work till Friday week. And then while everyone is off doing what they have to do, um, I'm just staying at home. I brought this ball at my partner's mum's place. So staying there. Um, so that they can run around and I'm just, it's easier if I'm not involved. Um, it's a fairly big Greek family, so yeah, they have, there's a quote bit they have to get done. So, yep, I'll, I'll leave it there. Not sure when I'll do my next post. It all depends on whether everybody's quiet and what time I get to myself and everything else that's going on. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk, uh, talk soon. Okay, so today's date is the 28th of March, Thursday. Back home. So... Nathan's sister has uh, now been laid to rest. Um, we got home last night. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'm still learning Greek ways because my partner's Greek. Uh, huge funeral service. She was loved by so many. So um, sad but wonderful at the same time to see how many people that she had in her life. As I say, you know, she got an extra 20 years on what the doctors gave her when she was younger. So yeah, so now I'm back. This is just a quick little um, update. You'll probably hear the washing machine, the dryer in the background. Yeah, we've been gone for a week. Today um, I'll be working on resin, working with the resin today. What I will do is uh, put the second coat of resin onto my two round diamond paintings, uh, which is Hey Diddle Diddle and the cup, little cup. So I'll do that today and obviously a bit more diamond painting. And um, back to work tomorrow. So yeah, film some resin work today. And uh, I'll see you on my next recording. Okay, so today's date, Friday, 29th of March, and once I've done this, I will put all the Fortnite's recordings together and upload them. This is a, an update to what I've achieved in the Fortnite. Obviously, passing off my um, sister-in-law, my partner's sister, kind of threw a crab wash on a lot of things that I had to do, but nevertheless, I still managed to get stuff done. So, uh, where had they go? We to Sydney with two diamond paintings um, and I have completed this section of the dark flower cap. Right. Then my, yeah, I did quite a bit. I did sit around quite a bit while I was in Sydney. So my custom leopard from my diamond paintings. Uh, managed to get all of that done so that's looking pretty good and you can now see the one thing that I wanted was really looking forward to doing for those that were in my life that I did there's his tongue sticking out so how cool is that um, I will be doing when I continue on with this one I'll do whipping chats with this one and this is the one where I'll do my um, I'll talk about my travels to South Africa. This picture came about because of uh, my kid, partner sister. So it did, I took this over with me to work on there because it just meant so much and I thought I'd share it with his family. Oh, I'm getting emotional. Okay, so that's what I've done all of that in the last fortnight as well. As well as working on the rhinestone now so this is the tiger 
our fairy princess and the tiger with the rhinestones. So I've gotten this section up here done, but I have also worked on the bottom section here. I'm actually liking it. It's probably not as much detail as uh, the other, but um, I'll do a comparison of that later on. We'll say this much. I hope you are enjoying the format that I'm kind of winging it at the moment. Now, the other thing that I did was the resin work. And I have two diamond paintings that have resin on them. Once I've uploaded this uh, fortnight's vlog, I will be uh, working on getting this video out for how I did this. But I have two. I have Hey Diddle Diddle, which is actually a flop. And you can actually, I mean, I knew it was going to flop anyway, because I knew I did sound off, so you can see there. So that's him. However, my little cub. Look at that. How cool is that? That's with the epoxy resin on it. How cool is that? No sparkle that you get from, from diamond paintings, but I have a beautiful finish on that. So you will see that in the upload once I, once I put everything together. So I'm gonna do these fortnightly. The aim is to do upload these every fortnight and obviously I will do a comments um, or work my way through um, some of the things I've done. I'm gonna leave cover here. What I do want to do though is for some of the things that I did while I was in Sydney is um, obviously one, new nails again, and I have Let's do it, get it. That is not a rhinestone from my diamond paintings because I had it done in Sydney. Didn't have my rhinestones with me, but that's my latest effect of nails. That's nothing done. For those that follow Mrs. Crochet and <laughs> uh, crafting with Mrs. Crochet and Co Mrs. Coffee, um, uh, and uh, the, all this stuff with um, the llama, llama corn um una llama corn and all of that i actually came across a couple of things so i thought i'd share this because dearly crafted you're not on facebook so i found the scratch and sparkle llama stencil art at the sydney airport so i thought you'd really appreciate that one and then when this clears up another one for you dearly I'm re not really a mama bear, I'm more of a mama llama. Like, I'm pretty chill, but I'll kick you in the face if you screw with my kids. But it was more the mama llama. So I thought, I saw those and I shared them on Facebook and um, thought that I would put that on here because dearly you are not on Facebook. Something else in Sydney, uh, my partner went crabbing and we had chili crab which is really nice um, yeah so that's where we're at now a few things got done um, I'm at home I'm settled in at back in everything's ready uh, I've done my first day back at work so I have Saturday, Sunday, day shift, Monday, Tuesday, night shift. And then next week on Monday, Tuesday, I'm actually doing what they call pass out, which is qualification to run another section of the track solo as a train control. So that's where we're at now. Um, hopefully, um, yeah, as I said, you like this format, please like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified of uh, when I'm when I post stuff um, what else have I got to say one thing I did want to do with these video logs was go through the comments provided to me on other YouTube stuff that I've posted 
that was their plan of attack. I will say that because I've been went to Sydney for oh, what was it, about a week. Um, it threw me. Well, it wasn't just the fact we went to Sydney for a week. Um, because we went to Sydney and everything else that happened, it kind of threw me out of whack. So I was able to go through the comments and discuss the comments. However, <clears throat> I will be doing that going, going forward from my next lot of video logs. So if you're going to pop a comment on it, watch my logs, video logs, and then you'll probably get a response. Um, and I thought that was um, something I'd, I'd like to do, just a, an additional touch so that you guys that are commenting get acknowledged because I really do like you guys subscribing and giving me comments so um hopefully you enjoy my coming up videos and um pan of attack is i will be doing a setup for another acrylic pour for a square diamond painting and it will be wove from go to woe um and my partner hijacked part of the process of this so there's some of this that wasn't filmed um and I will go to turn around and tell him that if he wants to hijack any more of my work, he's going to have to appear in the um, YouTube clips as well. So until uh, next upload, I will catch you later. Bye.